Oh, the force and the energy of the song. It's amazing. Ah, it's so cool. I love this thing. <laughs> I really do. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to take a five-minute song and make it into 20 minutes. It's showtime, folks. Welcome to another episode of Into the Music. This is Wonder Boy 75 Day. Yeah, I'm declaring this a holiday, an official holiday for Into the Music. Uh, because every time Wonder Boy gives me a song, it is like uh, sitting down on Christmas Day, opening up a present. It's usually something inside is pretty damn good. Uh, I got to have faith in Wonder Boy. Um, and what's really cool is that Wonder Boy, you think you're actually uh, giving me a band name that I've never heard before? No, 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 no. You're mistaken. Uh, Cooler Shaker. Uh, so about, I would probably say in spring of last year, as I was kind of really diving everywhere for music. The algorithms were all set. YouTube was coming at me. Spotify was coming at me. And I came across Govinda, G-O-V-I-N-D-A from this band. And I fell in love with it instantly. You know, a lot of songs that I'm kind of discovering on my own. And I'm trying to do like the 20 to 30 second thing. And then I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Good. Stop it. Put it in the queue. I'm going to react to it. No, I, <laughs> I couldn't last. No, I, I went the whole way through. And then I listened again. I listened again. I listened again. So, I mean, within like a couple of days, I mean, I had already gone to it like 25 times. I loved it. Um, and, and then I looked into the band information and man, wiki, wiki was giving me a lot of information. Critics did not like this band. Didn't seem like it. Um, uh, maybe they softened up, you know, as time went on, but I don't know how long this band was around for. Uh, but this album, um, I think it was their debut album. I think that Govinda was on. So I don't know if this song. Um, and this song, what's the song, Greg? Oh, well, I mean, you see the title by now when you jumped in the reaction. That said, Grateful When You're Dead slash Jerry Was There. So, uh, no, I'd never listened to the song. Um, but like I said, I love Govinda. Uh, you know, and they had sort of the, the Indian flavor, right, uh, in that music, in that song. So I wonder if they're going to have it in this. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm excited. I really am. So here we go. Cooler Shaker, Grateful When You're Dead, slash Jerry Was There. That beginning, oh, that was really hot. I mean... That guitar riff, and then you had that sort of that wah wah, and that. <laughs> the wah wah is like, oh man, that's so. Oh, I want to bring that back. I'm going to bring it back. All right, Wonder Boy. <laughs> Oh, the face. If you're waiting for a vision, I don't want 
force and the energy of the song. It's amazing. Ah, it's so cool. I love this thing. <laughs> I really do. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to take a five-minute song and make it into 20 minutes. Sorry. I'm really enjoying this. transition into this the face <laughs> I begin I, I don't I don't know I mean this is my first reaction right my first listen to the song so I mean it's not fair to compare to Govinder I mean I love that song but that song was so different and it was so it was saturated in like in the Indian uh, you know music and the sound um, I mean that's what they were going for and I love that song and I actually think it was authentic you know, because from what I read a little bit, the critics, I think they were kind of, I think they were just panning the band for like going down that road. And I'm like, you know, 
hats off, you know, applaud them. You know, they were being innovative and they were, they were obviously they loved that sound. And so they were incorporating that into their rock music and with a little popish sound, but they made something beautiful with that song. I love that one. And this is just balls out, just rock. This is like a 70s rock feel, you know, most of it. You know, the second part, it's funny because in the second part, I didn't know where they were going with that because I had to say like the first almost a minute maybe it's too long man but like the first 30 seconds you know like jerry was there and i'm like uh maybe you could have made this a separate song but then as that second part like kept going all of a sudden it just kind of like spilled into this this rock but it wasn't like rock like the front part the front part was like the 70s <laughs> that riff was amazing and in the wah wah that was coming in like <laughs> and then just boom and the band the whole the bass was amazing the drum the drums had that sort of heavy feel to it um but it was great that was needed and Oh, it was just rock heaven. I mean, you had the organ that sounded like 70s. His voice was very soulful and something that you would hear like in the 70s, a little Grand Funk Railroad sound a little bit, um, a little bit of free, uh, you know, Paul Rogers back like in the free days in the early bad company days with that sort of raspy kind of bluesy voice. Um, I mean, it was so good rock just again like i said you know anatomy out <laughs> just right in your face uh yeah you'll be grateful when you're dead right so grateful when you're dead the title and i think yeah you'll be grateful when you're dead um and uh yeah and what am i i think i wrote something else down i can't read my damn handwriting <laughs> yeah uh riff love that funky riff yeah i just said that already yeah and then that slowdown and like I said, I wasn't sure about that, like a little bit going in, but um, like I said, it just morphed into this beautiful, all of a sudden rock and it's just swirling around and the guitars and everything else. It was gorgeous. Yeah, Jerry was there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think I got another favorite song from this band. Holy crap. Yeah. Then there's another single, Tat Tatfer, I think, T A T V A. So um, I got to check that one out too. Um, because I went to Govinda so much, I actually put that down on one of my, as one of my favorite song lists. And I was going to give Chris. And of course, Chris is not here anymore. So, um, and then I think John knows it. So I wasn't going to give it to him. And I think Andy may know it. So, and if he doesn't, I don't know. I got to talk with Andy because I want Andy to like everything that I give him. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to like this one. Go Vinder. So um, I may just do it myself, but we'll see. We'll see. I might have the courage to give it to Andy and see what he says. Um, but Wonder Boy, this is fantastic. This is really uh, great. So, of course, let me open up Wiki because I, I and let me see what they say. Because is this off their first album? Because if so, I think they, they didn't pan just Govinda. I think they really attacked the whole album, if I'm remembering correctly. So let's see. Kula Shaka, Shaka, English psychedelic rock band. That's what Wiki is saying. Led by frontman Crispian Mills. So the band enjoyed commercial success in the UK between 96 and 99. Notched up a number of top 10 hits on the UK singles chart, including Tatfer, Hey Dude, Govinda, Hush, and Sound of Drums. They didn't mention this song, no. Okay. Um, so when did this song come out? And so let me go to K, which is their debut album. Um, it's a concept album themed on Indian mysticism. It became the fastest selling debut album in Britain since Elastica's debut album the previous year. This album sold over 130,000 copies in the first week. The album reached 
the number one position on the UK albums chart and number 200 on the US Billboard 200. It was also voted number 879 in the third edition of Colin Larkin's all-time top 1,000 albums 2000. Uh, that was published in 2000. Um, and I'm reading off a wiki here. The Grateful Dead psychedelic rock style is an influence on Cooler Shaker's first and second albums. Oh, man, I, I missed that when I was looking at information um, way back. The hidden track at the Hollow Man is a recording of, okay, so it's going into other stuff. Um, wait, so now this is this debut album. Is this song on there? I'm looking, I'm looking, looking. Govinda is number four. And then you got Tatver, number nine. And number 10 track, Grateful When You're Dead, Jerry Was There. Wow. Okay. There's 13 songs in this album? Holy crap. So the part of Wiki here about media response, although Cooler Shaker's sound owes a lot to the classic rock bands of 60s and 70s. Okay. The songs often combine Eastern influence sonics, Govinda, for example, with lyrical themes of a universal spirituality quest, employing ideas of soul and devotion uh, from diverse traditions such as Hinduism, um, Tattva, for example, that song, to Christianity, Great Hosanna, I guess that's another song, I don't know, and even Native American Indian, Infinite Sun. I don't know if these songs, the last couple are on that same album, I don't think so. Noel Gallagher was an early champion of the band, inviting them to support at Oasis's historic Nebworth concerts. But from the outset of their career, Cooler Shaker polarized UK media opinion. Okay, this arguably stem, stemmed from age old British preconceptions about class and race. Not only were they white youngsters singing about Krishna and Sanskrit, they were seen as coming from privileged middle class backgrounds. Speaking in an interview in 2016, uh, Mill says, when I was in private schools, they called me common. And when I was in state schools, they called me posh. It made me very cynical about all these labels. At the height of Britpop and lad culture, music publications like Melody Makers, Select, and NME often focused on the class angle and ridiculed the band's fascination with Indian, Indian culture, which is interesting. I mean, NME, NME uh, I'm usually on the same page as them when it comes to bands and songs. So this is where we split. Uh, Mills commented in 2016, the musical styles like K are mainstream now. In 96, people didn't know how to understand it or where to place it. So all that was left to do is deride it. Well, they still did really well uh, on the charts and sales, uh, but that's a shame. And in Genius.com, a contributor says that this song is a memory of Jerome John Garcia, Jerry, singer, songwriter, and guitarist of the band Grateful Dead, of course. Of course, I knew who, who he was singing about. Um, and the lyrics right here. And you go right up to the top. I'm painting. I paint the picture in your mind. If you're driving the roads to suicide, I know you can sympathize. If your lover is a cheating and you're blinded by the pain, your honeymoon in summer is a picnic in the rain. You'll be grateful when you're dead. Yeah, you'll be grateful when you're dead. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I'm shaking. I shake the spear before your eyes. Well, if you know your history, you will read between the lines. If you're waiting for a vision to illuminate your mind, oh, leave this world in misery. Oh, leave it all behind. You'll be grateful when you're dead. Yeah, you'll be grateful when you're dead. And the ba, ba, ba's. And then... It just kind of repeats, you'll be grateful when you're dead. And the ba 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 ba's, oh yeah, when you're dead, when you're dead. And then now you're into the second part <clears throat> where it slows down and it really kind of gets a little bit mystical. And I'm telling you, man, Jerry was there. I could feel his presence everywhere. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, Jerry was there. Jerry was there. Jerry was there. I seen him, man, look me right in the face. Yeah. What a creative band, really. I mean, they they had their influences, right or wrong. I mean, it was it was their influences. They were influenced by Indian uh, songs, philosophy, mysticism. They put it all together and they packaged it into something that that sounds great, sounds wonderful. 
Um, I'm, I'm absolutely open to it. I'm loving it. So I need more. I need more from this band. So uh, Wonder Boy, you hit it out again, man. <laughs> really? You hit it out again. We are, we're, we are, I mean, I'm serious. We're kindred spirits when it comes to music. You know what I mean? I think there's been maybe a couple that I've sort of questioned, but I mean, you've given me a lot of song requests. And I mean, the record speaks for itself. We are definitely kindred spirits, man. And, uh, and I'm proud and happy about that, you know, that I'm on the same, I'm on par with Wonder Boy 75. Wonder Boy 75. <laughs> comes to rescue again da, 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 da. <laughs> enough of that nonsense all right well if you like this wonder boy i'm sure you're gonna like you've already subscribed people out there who have not yet subscribed why not come on board have a lot of fun a lot more songs like this great stuff with that said i'll see every one of you on the next episode of into the music <laughs>